start off, Brian here. I'm sure we've all known family and friends in the islands who've lived through a cyclone, flood or other natural disaster. Donations are important to help those affected. Did you know though that there are helpful and not so helpful ways to donate? Sending stuff that's not needed can add to landfill in the Pacific and it's just not good for the environment. Think about this, is it needed? Check on government lists to see what's needed and what's best to donate. Wait a while. Sending goods immediately after a disaster becomes a disaster. Wait about a month or more. Don't send food. It's the island. It's hot. Food will rot. Package properly. If it gets damaged, it gets dumped. Check with customs. If the paperwork ain't right, your donation becomes useless. Cash and remittances is best. When you donate cash, it gets there fast and it helps your family decide what they need best. It's best to donate cash family to family, church to church. But whatever you do, make sure you use reputable organisations. Organisations like Brian will send it, I promise forward slash maybe may not be the best option to donate through. Do your due diligence. If you need any more info, visit www.donateresponsibly.org.